Hey guys, and welcome to the Better C Sharp series. My name's Tony. I've been a developer for over 10 years now. Uh, I've mostly written C Sharp in that time, but I've also written a lot of C++ and Java and uh, HTML and JavaScript, pre some Rust, uh, pretty much anything you can think of. I worked for a, co a consulting company for a little while, and we would take on all sorts of gigs that had, you know, they had their own technologies. We'd work on them. So, I mean, I've worked in things like ActionScript and Groovy and, you know, just all sorts of stuff. So that's kind of the, the realm I come from, um, but it's mostly been C-sharp. And <clears throat> over my 10 years of development, I've seen that there's a lot of different levels of developers everywhere I've gone. And there's a lot of different levels of code <laughs> to go along with that. Um, and I think probably a lot of people will agree with me when I say there's a lot of code out there that's painful to touch. And I think that the more we can do about like to fix that, um, the, the better we'll be as an industry. And so, you know, I think there's going to be a lot of best practices that we talk about in these videos. These videos are kind of targeted to people who know C sharp or, you know, maybe know a different language, but are learning C sharp. Um, and, you know, somewhat experienced programmers, maybe you're uh, newer at a new company or you're, you know, just a developer that's kind of intermediate and you want to better yourself and write better code. Um, mainly, I think the people that will benefit the most from these videos are people that write code and they just feel like something's off. Like you, like every time you have to come back and make changes, things break and you just don't know why. And you know, it just feels like it's painful to continue working on projects after a cer certain amount of time. So I think that'll be the target audience for these videos. But I think anybody can learn from them, even like if you're working in a shop that does Java or, you know, whatever else. I think a lot of these concepts can be passed on to other languages as well. Um, but we're going to be working in C Sharp. Uh, as a matter of fact, we're going to be using... Uh, I'm working on Linux, uh, so Ubuntu 20.04 right now, and we're going to be using NeoVim uh, in this in this series. And you can follow along in whatever editor you choose. I think you know Visual Studio is great. I use that a lot in my day job. Um, Visual Studio Code is great. I use that a lot in my day job. Uh, whatever operating system you're on is going to be fine. I don't think we're going to touch too many operating system specific things in this champ channel. So um, with that being said, let's go ahead and make a project real quick. So we'll, uh, we'll make an architecture directory and go over and uh, <clears throat> make a new console app. So, and then we'll drop right into it. So this is NeoVim. We're going to be using this. Um, and there's a lot of plugins and stuff I use to make it work better for C-sharp. Uh, I'm going to make a separate video outside of this series for that. So if you're interested in that, uh, check that out. That'll be up soon. Um, so yeah, but we're going to start here. And I hope you guys will enjoy this. I hope it'll benefit a lot of people. If you see that, you know, maybe where you're working needs needs videos like this or like you know you know a co-worker that you know maybe is seeking advice on how to write better code or you know i would say just share this around and see if you can get you know people to write better code where you're at not in like a condescending way or anything like that but you know people i think people are interested to learn um and maybe these videos can help them out so and also, if you have any topics you'd like me to cover, please, uh, you know, comment. Absolutely. So with that being said, we're going to hop into the first video, which is going to be about class architecture, which is uh, going to be mainly about just how we write our classes to make them easy to work with and easy to extend and easy to maintain. So uh, with that said, I'm going to cut this video here and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. <laughs> 